Greetings folks. We're here to look at another horn today for fun and maybe a little self-torture. Um, this one is gorgeous. One of my favorites. It is a 76,000 1957 or 58 Mark VI tenor. Original and near mint. I mean it's pretty close to a museum piece. Um, there's no damage. Um, all there is is just beautiful handcrafted saxophone luxury. This is one of the best horns in the world. One of the best horns I've ever played. Um, it's just incredible. Looks gorgeous too. Look at that. That neck is it's like paradise to any serious tenor player. How, how perfect that is. No bend, no, no nothing. Just beautiful. Um, I mean the whole thing, the lacquer color, the craftsmanship, the angle, the architecture and cutting of the keys, um, they're just, they're so beautiful at this time period. Um, and this is when the 70,000s start to get um, kind of aggressive. Um, mid 70,000s, 70, this is 76, um, 74, 75, 76 and onward, they start to get pretty aggressive and then they sort of uh, tend to get a little more spread at the early 80,000s. Um, this this is just a powerhouse of a horn. It's it's bright. Well, I don't know. I mean, compared to modern horns, it's not bright, right? But for a six of this period, it's edgy and, and aggressive. Um, and it still has that um, organic vocal quality that the, the earlier ones have. So it's it's just like sort of right on the line. It's, a, it's like a very vintage sound color um, with a, a aggressive modern projection. They're just very fun. I know uh, people who've played these mid-70s know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to play it first with this uh, this uh, vintage Berg that I like, and then I'm, if I have time, I'll put a uh, Autolink uh, Florida on there. pieces that I hand-faced years back and uh, I used these ones gigging 
for quite a number of years. And uh, they're just comfortable to me. And they play great. And uh, it should be noted that this horn, I just received it like this. Um, it has original pads with lacquer on the edges of the pads and everything. It's never had an overhaul. And it just plays like this. Which is just one of those things that makes you question reality. How does a horn from 1957 show up with original, you know, crispy cracker leather pads? Um, what is that? 60, 70 years ago? Untreated pads, never had an overhaul, um, original resonators and everything. But I mean, how does it retain those original pads and original setup and play out of the box perfectly? Now, I can't answer that question. chair I almost missed it there it is uh, 1957 76,000 a little bit of a beauty queen a little bit of an angry queen powerhouse horn with a lot of color thanks for watching I hope you play today and don't kill yourself over reeds <laughs>